Give us gonna dis. Hi there, and welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars. We have just received a new communique of the SSS, the Snail Secret Service, about the former Terran Imperium, the now T human hierarchy. They've upgraded themselves to a star empire. This is the SSS, the Snail's Secret Service. We have received information about the Empire, formerly known as the Terran Imperium. That is now the hegemony, the T-Human hegemony. We have found out about their past in the wake of a war that left humanity on the brink of extinction. Only a few countries survived, and from them, the Imperium was born. They vowed to be better than what they were, but they wouldn't cast off war like others had tried. No, they would embrace it. They knew war would always be a part of them, and fighting it would only lead to more strife, so they would perfect the art of war to such a degree that opposing the Imperium would be an unreachable dream. We think they are very dangerous, Naughty the First, and we should uh, initiate measures to protect us from them. The Holy Roachan Defensive Pact is a very good start. Thank you for listening. So thank you now, guys from the SSS. <laughs> so what's it that we should do? We have a Defensive Pact at least. Um, the Holy Rochan Empire, and we recently built that frontier outpost here, and we we really suspect the area Huzilas to build a lot of fleets at the moment, <coughs> and they want probably to get this system. So what we're gonna do is um, we're going to build military stations. Like somewhere in here, next to the Suhiri system, because I think they will move in, or they might move into the Larbo system. We'll we'll see about that. Don't know. And we'll build a lot of fleets because we cannot afford uh, more or less, or whatever. The thing is, we need more corvettes. And we need them quickly. Because corvettes are the only things we have. So we'll build corvettes, right? These are our corvettes. Very basic design. That's all we have, the shell class. We can only hope that protects us soon enough from their wrath. And, I mean, we have to do something. Look at our leaders. Azacella Aeox is legendary, but she has a very high death chance. Construction complete. We would maybe get an Carpenter or... Samira Ismail. Depending on who, what, where this is going. Construction complete. Ah, oh, let's see how the spaceports are doing. Let's make sure to construct more and more corvettes for now. going to need these, I'm sure. <laughs> With our blue lasers, we hope to get something against construction complete. These guys. Construction complete. Imdar Prime. Yeah, Neptulus. I should really go for more Corvette building here. Hope we can reach the 50 quickly. There we go. It's really going quick here, so the rest of the corvettes should really be built on Neptune. Construction complete. Construction complete. It's a tough situation we're in. 
And we will try our complete. utmost to survive. Maybe even build overpriced corvettes. We'll see. I mean, they're collecting a transport fleet here. <coughs> How much more obvious could it get? Uh. <laughs> also ask the Holy Roachen if there's something they might like us to do. Construction complete. Huh. Neptunus, yes. More corvettes, please. Construction complete. Yeah, we can go for a queue of two at least. Until we have reached our maximum naval capacity. And then we'll build defense platforms somewhere. It's really a problem because um, I mean if they would complete. they would have their main force here. Then they would come through the Larbo system to us. If they have their main force here, they will come directly to the Nihal system. So there's a question to ask. Where will they come? If they Incoming come. Incoming transmission. Federation invitation. This diplomatic proposal will be automatically declined. What? The galaxy is dark and full of terrors, Nautilui. Join us in a federation for mutual protection. Oh yes, holy Rochans. Before the rest of the empire, uh, the rest of the galaxy is not safe. To make this our little safe shell. And thank you. We'll agree. Now, do you have forces? That is not a force. That is a force. It is a good force. <laughs> but we need to know what, what they are planning here at Area Huzila. Maybe one of our ships can see something here. Maybe the science ship. We should we should really upgrade our science ship too. Can we do that? Maybe get them some sensors or something? Science ship. Yes. Uh better sensors. That would be great. Auto complete the ship. Save. Yes. Pathfinder. Nice. Pathfinder class. Let's upgrade them. Twelve. Now that's really doable. What? What just happened here? Oh, that is our feder feder oh, our federation contribution. Ah, uh, but we can afford that for now. We'll now build federation ships, right? Can we do that? Stop these and build federation ships. Uh, how is this done now? We need more ships. I mean, how can we? Ships upgraded. Construction complete. The Senelan Senate. We have allowed you to move about freely in our territory for too long. Today we draw the line. Huh, and we have a lot of stuff going here, so we'll build military stations. Probably close to other stations, like here. Oh, let's have a look at our, our stations. Ship designer. Uh, we have the star shell class here. Of course, we need a large blue laser because we don't have anything else. We need that. 
And I mean, we should really go for armor, right? These have 2,000 hull points. What does that add? It adds 20. Ah, oh, that's not a really good thing. We'll go for... Um... Let's see, what is the minimum number of reactors we'll get there? That... Ah, that's too few. How much is a large one? Ah. <laughs> Small and the large? No. Right, we need 45. A medium is 20. Small is 10. And the large is 40. Ah. Let's do it like that, and the rest will be in armor. How much does a deflector eat? Yeah, we can add one diff Yeah, but look at that, 20 points. No, we're going for more armor. Oh, that's a good shell, right? So let's go. Let's have that shell. And let's look at the builder here. There we go. Build military station. Star shell class. Here. Hmm, or maybe close to the planet. Yeah, we'll stop that and we'll build it close to the planet. But yeah, we'll need to build the spaceport as well. How good is a spaceport at the moment? It's very good. All right, let's let's build the spaceport first, right? <coughs> In the Nihal system. Give me that spaceport, come on. That should be sufficient. Twelve months, so that's a long time. <sighs> Fleets are expanding. I hope we have some kind of federation fleet right now as well. Come on, holy roachins. Build something or design something so we can build something. That's really unnerving. Add in a military station. How much is that? Star shell class. 188. <laughs> yeah, Thanalans, you've closed the borders. We really don't care. You can close your borders all day long. That's your hero system, though. Oh, now we can build. Build a military station. Shell class. Oh, maybe it's better to move it over here. Of course, it's, it's nearer to the point, right? Move it as closely as possible to the starport for more support. <coughs> What's going on here in Neptulus? Maybe we could upgrade a building. 
And on Nautilon's breath. And on Imdar Prime. Hmm. Huh. <coughs> we need minerals there. How about just building minerals here, right? We don't need the power there on that field. Build a mining network. That needs to become a research planet. Uh, we have five nautiloids there, so we need to upgrade that. Ah, our construction ship is building. Is it building quickly enough, though? Really want to have... That fleet. That Federation fleet, come on. Give us the Federation fleet. Oh, I think we can build more ships now. Of the shell class, and we should. Because um, we'll have another spaceport coming, and that will help us with the naval capacity a lot. Let's have a look. How are we doing in the, in the power? Well, we are better than the fanatic befrienders, but that's about it. We're in the Bright Pact. I like the name, Bright Pact. Construction complete. But everyone is superior to us. <laughs> everyone in our reach, at least. Neptulus has finished. Oh yeah, then let's stop that one. Get it cheaper here, right? No need to construction complete. Waste the money. Oh no. As a Zela Aox has died at the age of seventy-seven. Let's remember her. She was the speediest snail we had. She had a very nice victory against the space pirates. Just at the start of the space age for the Nautiloids. I believe it was in Hadnock somewhere. And she had uh, beaten a strange space mon anomaly around here. She was one of our best commanders, and we'll remember her proudly. We need another leader. Now. Let's wait until we need one, because they are already old, so we would only have 20 years out of them. So we should really wait. As I said, we can go for... Two ships coming here. Military station in Nihal. Is ready now. Ah. Maybe we should design another military station. That was the star shell with its, with its subspace snare. We should scrap the Nautilus station. <coughs> Let's have a new design. Heavy station section. Hangar station. Oh, we have scout wings here. Nice strike crafts. Could go for hangars, but I really like the heavies, so... lasers in. At least 70 range. How much range is the hangar station? Oh, not a good range. Yeah, we'll go for the heavies. Proximity mines. Yes, that would be good as well. Uh, shield dampener. That would be good. Nanobot Cloud. That would be helpful as well. I think we're going for... For the Shield Dampener first. 
And then we need 45 now. Uh, and the rest will be armor. And we'll name it the... Um, shell Dampener class. This should be good for now. But this really hurt us in the Federation stuff. And we don't have Federation ships available. That's the thing that's bad about it. And I think we're in danger here. That's why I'm so paranoid about it all. We can upgrade that power plant. Should be good. And we can also, I think, like exchange these guys. Just for more growth. And... Uh, yeah, that is okay. In Dark Prime. Yeah, we are building something here. It should be a mineral planet though, in time. And we're not reducing the food, at, at least now. Should build a mining network. At the moment we need a lot of minerals and we need to upgrade this building. But it's so costly. How are our leaders doing? Construction complete. They're getting old. Yeah, we should maybe save our most important plans with additional defense platforms. I'm not sure with what or when we'll do that, but we should do it. A non-aggression pact invitation. Oh, the two humans and the Impani. Sp our spaceport here, yes. Needs more shell class. Now have a look. Research complete. That is a better spaceport than the others. Oh, and what have we researched? Ion thrusters. Very nice. Oh, sublight speeds, combat speed, chance to evade. These electric thrusters use beams of ions to generate thrust without the need for propellant. Oh, very good. Let's go for new research, though. What should we go for? Maybe the defense station will help to make the galaxy safe again. What do we have here? Tell dark crystals and Garanthium ore. I mean, these are really good, but what we really need now is the defense station. Should be good. Soon we'll have the manifest destiny going. Let's see how that works out for us. And let's see what happens if we are the Federation leaders. Can we then design some fleets finally, that would be absolutely super great. But I doubt we can do that. We have a station there. Let's maybe go for another military station. Shell dampener class. Oh, that's... Yeah, we can build one here. Sure. 
Huh. But we need to build some stations out of here. Even if they are only tiny, like these military stations are. Construction complete. Well, let's actually build a station here. Maybe from the Starshell class for now. Then let's expand on on our planets here. What should we go for? Yeah, on the mineral planet we can do that building. We should save up for that. Reassembled ship shelter. And, uh... Yeah, we've got someone new, but it's a fleet logistician. God. That's really not helpful. Research complete. Complete the research of Manifest Destiny. Now, let's have a look. Now! Now we're talking. Gotten the Ushminaria system. We've gotten the Abanaur back. We must have courage to seize our fate and make true what was always meant to be. Our manifest destiny. What will we go for now? Terraforming would be awesome. Naval capacity though is what what's needed to make the galaxy safe again. Let's go for that. Minerals, research. The next thing we should save up for is this building. And then we should upgrade all of our spaceports too. That costs 200. Hmm. That's a lot. Still should be able to do it. Now this is going for research. What do we need here? We would like to have some more food. We'll use everything we already have for food on, on there to do that. So we'll add in the hydrophonics farm here. It's okay. Yeah, there's a mining network coming. And also that will be done in time. Also be pretty helpful. We need more information about these Husila guys. Look at that, it's so close to the border. But we cannot piss off our protectors, so to say. That cannot be done. We're also so close to this system. There's only one thing to do. Expand our little planets. Make us proud again. And also we need more defense stations everywhere at the border. We have one station here. Adding to our military power, it's the threat level. Huh. We're at least equivalent to Chalk now now. So we're somehow gaining ground. A little bit, at least. Upgrade that building. There needs to be always something to do, at least. Um. Hmm. Yeah. How long will that be? That will be a lot of time until someone is here. It's going to be a research planet. 
We'll need to build that special planetary administration here. No way around it. And I think I'm going for another corvette. But we can redesign the corvettes now. And that's something we should do instantly as it adds so much safety. We have better thrusters. We have iron thrusters now. Much more speed and adding a chance to evade. Save the shell class. How much would it cost to upgrade at the moment? 399. We should maybe fly back and upgrade now. Let's also see about the logic in our design here. Yeah, the logic is flawless, I, I think. Yeah, the deflectors are good. That adds much more than than armor to this ship. The armor is just a so-so construction complete solution. The military station has been built in Lavo as well. Let's go to the gun too. We're actually flying over to the closest spaceport. We have that spaceport here, right? Yeah, it's okay. We can instantly upgrade here. Already fly to the spaceport. Construction complete. The interstellar petalite conglomerate. Oh, the plutocratic oligarchy. Metalheads. Why? <laughs> we have allowed you to move about freely in our territory for too long. Today we draw the line. Who are you even? Where are the petalites? Look at that. What we, what we know now. The Thanalan Senate. The. Petalites, there are the pet. Ooh, and these are the petalites as well. So they are very relevant to this universe. Ha! Huh. And they are equivalent to us. Technology level superior, fleet power inferior. Very strange. And they are. Metal heads, what does that mean? Metal. It means metal. What are you? I mean, why are you? What does that mean, metal heads? Minus 1000, so they hate everyone. <laughs> what? Your nation is both flawed and primitive, Nautiloid. It pains me to witness that inefficiency. They're at war with the Fung friends and the Thanalan Senate, and they are... It seems like they're beating them... At least they're beating the Thanalan Senate. Closing borders with them would probably be a good thing. So let's look at the status. Uh, petalites. Close borders, please. So, we're in a crisis. A crisis of survival. Our only friends are the Holy Roachans. All we need to do is, we need to do something against the coalition of Area Huzila. It would be very tempting to build something here on the border. But that would lead to a dissolving of the federation between the Holy Roachans and us. And that would be very, very bad. So, we're just waiting. <laughs> waiting to gain some more power research. However, we will do that. We will try to do it. So, thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode of Snail Wars. With a running nose as a commentator. <laughs> Happy gaming to you.